Eder's taking up some useful positions early on, and he feeds McCallum on the left-hand side, well forward. Curls the ball into the middle early, Puki touches it to Sarah, who steers it across here now, the sergeant caught in the penalty area, not according to the referee. Eder keeps it alive, Aaron's right edge of the penalty area, a twist and a turn, and across, Eder's header, it won't quite fall for sergeant in the six-yard box, it's hacked away by Watford. Nil-nil at the moment, Aaron's tussling away for possession over on the right-hand side. Watford have emerged with it, here's Bakuna, who's a recent uh, signing on a free transfer. Now Mario Gasper playing the ball up towards the edge of the penalty area and Keenan Davis, who's got into the Norwich box here, gets goal side of Gibson, gets the shot in, and Gunn has to make a smart save by his near post, and it's Watford who have the game's first corner, so they've had to soak up a lot of pressure in the first five minutes. Gibson has to go back to his goalkeeper, Angus Gunn, all in bright orange. Gunn passing it out to Gibson, and now it's with McCallum on this left-hand side. A heavy touch from McCallum has actually given it to Watford in a bad area of the pitch, and Gakia to Davis on the edge of the box. He hits a shot goalwards, and it curls, and it's wide. Now, from here, we're right behind that, Gossi. That looked dangerous, but the way Angus Gunn just sort of watched it go wide, maybe it wasn't quite as close as it looked from here. towards the halfway line they come now Morris turns up the ball forward early here looking for the run of Keenan Davis who's might get the better of Gibson here he has got goal side of him left edge of the penalty area, plays it across shot comes in from Saar really important block Norwich were opened up there all too easily nil nil header on towards Puki in the Watford penalty area to the right of goal he got it across but Sergeant was slightly on his heels and Watford have cleared. A lovely flick from Nunez. Aarons takes it on on the right hand side. His cross towards Sergeant just too high. Stretching. Trying to get that uh, curly ginger head of hair onto it and he couldn't quite reach it. Ten minutes to half time. Nil nil. Sarah's corner from the right hand side played in. Headed away comfortably by Saar. But Aarons will gather it and he will play it back out to the right hand side. And Gabriel Sarah who's still got a packed penalty area to try and pick somebody out here. Instead, he's given it to Nunez, who does deliver the cross into the box, towards the far post, Hanley across, goal! Yeah! Norris and Eat take the lead, or do they? No, the flag has gone up for offside. Grant Hanley, for the second time in this game, getting on the end of a cross, and for the second time in this game, flag for offside. Hanley, on his last goal at Carrow Road, was the winner in Dean Smith's first game in charge. He has just straight up beyond the last Watford defender there as that ball comes in. It's a lovely header, a cross goal and into the net. I think Hanley knew though, didn't he? As he looked across, he could see the lines when flag was up and Norwich do not go a goal up. Here's Liam Gibbs, who's having a, an impressive little spell in the game. Plays it into the penalty, looking for Sargent to the left of goal, tries to get it across, keeper gets a touch on it, it runs free, but Norwich can't quite get to the ball and his eagerness to get there. Sarah has been penalised for a foul on Cabaselli, there wasn't a lot in it, but Watford will certainly gratefully accept the free kick in their own penalty area. Free kick's going to be taken by Marcelino Nunez from the right, curled towards the penalty area, again easily dealt with by Watford. McCallum slides but doesn't get the ball, and Keenan Davis is now bearing down on the Norwich half. There's a break on here for Watford. Davis uh, takes the ball past Nunez, plays it to the left-hand side, and Morris, who's got space to work with, he's well forward. He crosses deep into the penalty area. It's headed back across goal. Great save from point-blank range by Gunn, and again, somehow it's been blocked in there. And Watford, that's the closest we've come to a goal in this game. But Angus Gunn... And there's another Norwich player inside the six-yard box as well, somehow blocking that ball on the line. Two players down injured, and it remains nil-nil, but Watford have a corner, they'll feel they should be in front. Hanley plays it out towards McCallum on the left-hand side. A touch from McCallum onto Adam Eder. Back now to... Ben Gibson on halfway, Gibson plays it forward, looking for the run of Puki. Lovely touch from Puki to Sarah on the edge of the box. He's given it to Marcelino Nunez, who drives a low shot but drags it wide. That's the sort of link-up play that, yes, there was no finishing touch, but it's the sort of link-up play that we've not seen enough of in this game. and Sarah linking up well, Sarah with a pass through here towards Josh Sargent who gets there before the keeper, helps it over the bar, but did the keeper catch Sargent there, there was a collision on the edge of the box, Backman has stayed down, Sargent stayed down, there's certainly a hurry to get the Watford medical team onto the pitch, that was a lovely ball from Sarah, Sargent onto it, keeper came up to meet him, Sargent got to the ball, 
Uh, they collided, but Sargent still got the shot in. So I don't think this is going to be uh, anything as dramatic as a free kick or a penalty to Norwich. Ben Gibson thinks it should have been. I can see him ben still Gibson. appealing to the referee. He feels that Sargent was cleaned out there by the, the goalkeeper. of Amadelli on the right-hand side. A substitute. Infield to Gabriel Sara. Here's Nunez. Out to the left it goes. Ida has gone out there to hug the touchline. Cuts in here, Adam Ida. Central position, hits a shot! Oh, it's bouncing just wide. Adam Ida still... I mean, it would have to be some strike from there, but he's still confident after scoring that goal on Friday. from McCallum, Puki is going to get after this one and he's going to get there and the Watford defender has pulled up and that's given Puki the chance to get into the penalty area and play that to the edge of the box and Sarah! Oh, not far wide! Brilliant effort from Sarah who now sinks to his knees in frustration because he feels he should have at least tested Backman there it was a lovely curling effort from in the D but it just curled a little bit too much wide of the post Sarah's corner played in from the left-hand side, headed away by Watford as far as the edge of the box. Gibbs tries to put it back in the danger zone, cleared away again by Watford. McCallum, don't know what he was trying to do there, he sliced it completely, and Watford have a counter-attack on if they can get uh, Sarah involved. Sarah's got past McCallum, who committed himself. He's in the Norwich penalty area, he plays it across the bio, who's going to score for Watford? Norwich have been completely caught out on the counter-attack, and it's the substitute bio who is there to tap in from an Ismaila Sarr pass after Norwich were completely caught out. Sam McCallum has his head in his hands because he was beaten all ends up by Ismail Asar in that move. And with four minutes to go at Carrow Road, it's Norwich City nil, Watford one, and Norwich City's Carrow Road woes continue. McCallum on the left-hand side has Ida in front of it. Ida cutting in, gives the ball to Sarah. Now Marcelino Nunez, 25 yards out. Nunez looking for Sargent in the area. Sargent, can he make some room? He sets up Nunez for the shot, deflection! Oh, it takes it wide! Keeper was beaten there, but the deflection from the defender took it wide. Nunez not far away from his first Carrow Road goal. Norwich have a corner. Thank you very much for your fantastic support. Can Gabriel Sarra deliver with quality from the right edge of the penalty area here for Norwich City? Whipped in! Oh! Did it take a little flick off the bar on the way through? I think it might have done but a goal kick is given.